The politics over the expansion of G7 is heating up. The group of seven, it has been reduced into a symbolic global body during this pandemic. It now wants to be substantive. Leading the bid for its revival is the United States. U.S. President Donald Trump has made the first move. He thinks this body has become outdated. It has. This body has failed to reflect the present international scenario. To understand how, we must first understand what the G7 really is. It's an intergovernmental economic group. It consists of the seven largest and most advanced economies in the world. Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, the UK and the United States of America. What does it do? It exchanges ideas and possible solutions to global economic crises. They discuss matters of mutual interest, which is great. So why are nations like India and China not members of this body? After all, they are the world's fifth and second largest economies. The reason given is this, the relative low level of wealth per head of population. A reason that apparently makes these two countries, India and China, not deemed to be advanced economies like other members of the G7, the current members. The United States wants to change this. It wants to expand the body and turn it into a G11 in all likelihood. Does the expansion make sense? It does. The seven economies that are right now part of this body were amongst the most advanced when the group was established. But over the years, economies like India, China, Australia, Russia and some others have developed into major economic forces. So America wants these economies to sit at the high table. It has invited more guests, like we discussed yesterday. India is on the list. So is Australia, Russia and South Korea. America wants to leave China out and the reasons are obvious. The United Kingdom and Canada agree. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and British Prime Minister Boris Johnson are with the US over leaving China out. South Korea is not taking any sides. The rest of them have also chosen to stay neutral. But one country thinks this is unfair. China's immediate neighbor and America's biggest foe at one point in time, Russia. Russia has agreed to the expansion of G7. It has also been invited, but not without China. Maria Zakharova, a Russian foreign ministry spokesperson, has said, and I quote, the idea of an expanded G7 summit is a step in the right direction, but does not really mean a true representation. It is obvious that it is hardly possible to implement serious global initiatives without China. Moscow is only pretending to miss the point here. America's point here is to punish China for lying about the Wuhan virus and sending global economies into disarray. Russia does not agree, it seems. Also, it hasn't forgotten how it was removed from this very same body in 2014. Russia was expelled from the group. It used to be G8. Then they expelled Russia and it became G7. And that's because Russia captured the Crimea region in Ukraine. Six years have passed. A lot has changed. China is now the biggest enemy for America, the self-proclaimed leader of the G7, also the host this year. It wants to win over Russia in cornering the Chinese regime. Moscow is unrelenting so far.